Hey everyone, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video in YouTube. Today we're gonna to learn today we're going to learn about the few days how can we see the condition if we don't have any data in the my card which is for the shopping e-commerce. Alright, so let's get started. So this is the basic HTML like the previous video in the Fubro episode number eight. Okay. So then you have to prepare this is my card and the uh, value of the card. Maybe you have three items. Okay. And then you can preview into the browser. So you got the my card three items, right? Nice. Uh, in CSS, sorry, in JS, JavaScript, we have to prov provide the object of the JavaScript, which is the card, my card, okay, it's supposed to be an array, because we want to store the data through the array, okay, so first of all is name, name is Macbook Pro, and then prices supposed to be okay and we need more more data so we spare it by comma spare it and spare it and spare it oops this well as you can see here that i provide the data the sample data so you can do that okay so first of all we want to we want to show this data through of the HTML. So here then I have to create new row and container, sorry, new row and call, maybe call six. Okay. And the call six is supposed to be the, the item is supposed to be product. So I will uh, product, sorry name and in the here you can use the product okay this is for the name we can use the p name this is that we got from the product name maybe macbook pro and after that p price this is for the price okay and then i want to make it more beautiful with the css Okay, in the product we need the background, maybe NNB, 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 and the padding is supposed to be 20 pixel with the border radius is uh, 11 pixel. This, oh, I think F9, 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 mm, F1, F1, F1. Okay, nice. And I think that. I need to set in the margin top 50 pixel okay and then in the product that we got uh, title uh, name of oh, name name we set in the font size to be 22 pixel with the uh, okay and then we have the margin bottom is supposed to be zero okay and then we have product price the color is supposed to be green one abc nancy in the font size 18 pixel and the margin is zero okay nice so this is for the macbook pro and i think i will remove this margin top okay and then i will try to remove this sorry i will remove this so basically i will create new div and put here so this is for the margin right okay nice and it is supposed to be called for okay now in the title we have class which is the title so we provide the title here margin bottom supposed to be 50 pixel and in the product we got margin bottom also but it's only 20 pixel 
Yeah. Now we just need to show the real data that we got from the JavaScript here. So here, that we want to looping is v call this one v for okay uh sorry i got mistake here <laughs> okay here v for uh product in my card so you got this data right like this oh yeah i'll have to provide the margin bottom actually so he's oh sorry supposed to be margin bottom okay nice oh, i think 30 oh yeah nice 30. and then after that we just need to show the real title here that we got the product name and we just need to copy this and this is product price okay we got MILF and MacBook Pro you know what is MILF <laughs> and I make new car Apple news okay so what if the data is not found which is we don't have data so what we gonna do here to, to tell them that the data is gone so we can provide the we can copy this just copy uh, sorry I will copy this copy and then I will remove I will change it to the if so we took the we take the object keys the data it comes from my card okay length zero then we tell them if the data is not found data is not found okay so we are trying to select those data and make it the common data is not found or you can also change it your card is uh you cry you don't have you don't have any item shop now yeah so basically this is the ux copywriting that help you to get the new item so i will take the br here okay you don't have any item shop now oh actually i can uh, actually I don't need this okay you don't have any item shop now and it goes through your website with chase the e-commerce but if you got the data it's supposed to be this data okay basically the data are uh, you you got the five data right five data so it's supposed to be dynamic okay so here uh, my card length five items what if what if you duplicate those data supposed to be 10 it's dynamic right so what if you don't have any data it's supposed to be zero nice so this is how we can easily to create the shopping cart with a few js well, I hope it was useful for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends. Please take my online course to learn more about the website design and the Android user interface design. So nice to meet you from Indonesia. Goodbye.